going on, everybody? Tony here. I'm uh, chiming in with a little video update like I normally do. I've done one in a while. Got a lot of things coming up in the recent future, so just wanted to let you all know. This Sunday, uh, May 31st, we're going to be dropping the new single Hot Damn exclusively on uh, Stickham for that day. So you come into the, the chat room at Stickham, S T I C K A M dot com backslash Satan Madison. And what it is, the video chat room kind of thing. You can get on cam or you can just text, type, or whatever. I, it starts at 8. We'll probably log in and get all that set up probably around like 7 30 or so. We'll just be doing a more of a band, full band update, you know, talking, answering any questions you guys have. And then we're going to be posting a link in the chat room to where you can get the song immediately that day. Because it technically is released. Officially on June 1st on the MySpace and the, the website, but um, we figured because of the Stickham chat, we'll we'll give it to you then too. So it'll be the same deal as uh, um, by the time you see the sun, where you can just we're just giving away giving it away for free, so you can go to the MySpace and the website and you'll be able to download it. And then uh, next week we have some shows. June 4th will be. Um, back at Cicero's down in St. Louis. I want to thank everyone down there that's been promoting it and spreading the word and passing out our flyers and all that stuff. We really love you guys for doing that. We also we have a Facebook event for that show as well, as well as um, the, hot, the uh, release of Hot Band. So if you guys aren't already friends of ours on Facebook, please become a fan of ours and just go to Facebook and search State Madison and then just become a fan. Uh, you can send you know, uh, invites to all your friends and have them do the same thing, domino effect. Uh, June 13th is the big Chicagoland show we'll be doing. Um, and I'll like to show at Mojo's in uh, Orland Park, which we already have. There's also a Facebook event for that. So, same thing, just invite everyone you know on Facebook, let them know about the three songs. Um, download the three songs and come sing them live. I'm also playing with us at, uh, Mojo's is Urbanites, our good friends are Urbanites, so um, it's guaranteed to be a great show. When you go to the show, be sure that you say that you're there to see State Madison. We'll hopefully have some new merch for that show, some new t-shirts and some other swag that you'd like to pick up. June 26th, we'll be down in Morton again, Morton, Illinois, um, for Basta. The rest of the summer is going to be pretty much lots of uh, out-of-town out dates, touring, and... Uh, writing, demoing, recording. So that's that. Add us on Facebook if you haven't already. Um, follow us on Twitter as well. We have a band one. We have a State in Madison, but we also have the personal ones. We do have personal ones a little bit more than we do the band ones. Like my personal one is Tony M. Martino. Just straight through Tony M. Martino. So that's all the State in Madison news. When I wanted to read, I wanted to read you guys something. The title is called Auto Tune. And this is from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Autotune is a proprietary audio processor created by Antares Auto Technologies that uses a phase recorder to correct pitch and vocal and instrument performances. It is used to disguise inaccuracies and mistakes and it has allowed many artists to produce more precisely tuned recordings. In addition to being used to subtly change pitch, which with some settings, it can be used as, a, as an effect to deliberately distort the human voice. Autotune is available as a plugin for professional audio multi-tracking suites using a studio setting and as a standalone rack-mounted unit for live performance processing. Autotune has become standard equipment in professional recording studios. According to the Boston Herald, country stars Reba McIntyre, Faith Hill, and Tim McGraw have all confessed to using Autotune in, in performance claiming it as a safety net that guarantees a good performance. Sarah Evans, John Michael Montgomery, and Gary Lavox of the group Rascal Flats also rely on autotune to compensate for pitch problems. However, other country music singers such as L Loretta Lynn, Allison Moore, I think, Trisha Yearwood, Vince, Vince Gill, Garth Brooks, Martina McBride, and Patti Loveless have refused to use autotune. Also, one of our favorite bands, Silverchair, never use out of it. Now the reason why I'm reading this to you <clears throat> is because I'm really getting fed up with a lot of this stuff because everyone is using it and they're using people are using it in the studio 
you ever go see a band play and you're like, wow, they don't sound at all like they do on record because on record, it's fixed. You can sing out of key and they fix it. Bands are using it live now too. So to me, it's just not, it's not the same thing. If you can't pull it off, like the thing about Rascal Flat to compensate for pitch problems, it's like if you have pitch problems and you shouldn't be in, in Rascal Flat, and you shouldn't be a professional singer. You know, we do not use it. We've never used it in the studio. Never will. Never have used it for, for fixing pitch. And we for sure never use it live, and we never will. What I want you to do is, I want you to become aware of this. Its main purpose is to allow people who can't sing in, p in, in key, in pitch, to make them sound like they can. So ask all your favorite bands, do you guys use autotune? Why do you use autotune? Ask them all that. I want everyone to become more aware of autotune. Like, there's something beautiful about flaws in the recording. It's rock and roll, it's not supposed to be perfect. That's it. But that's, that's my little rant. So, feel free to Google autotune and do some research on it. There's some cool sites about it. If you truly care about music, you, you, you should be interested in it. So, that's it. I will see you guys on Sunday in at stickham.com slash state madison Sunday at 8pm 8, 8, 8 p.m. and uh, that's central time so if you're elsewhere adjust and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon